Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create a spread in Canva for your Ingram Spark children's book. If you didn't watch the first episode of this series, then you may want to go back and watch that because we set up our Canva document and we set up our guides for the bleed and the safe zone and I showed you how to pull in an image and text. For this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a spread. First of all, I want to explain the arrangement of the pages to you. So if I go down here and click on grid view, then here I can see all of the pages in my book. And it's important to take note that the first page of your PDF is going to be all by itself to the right of the spine. When you first open the book, you're going to see the inside of the back cover on the left, and then you're going to see the first page on the right. And then after that, all of the pages are going to be side by side, and it's going to be even pages on the left and odd pages on the right. So page two goes on the left of the spine and page three is on the right of the spine. So these two pages would be right next to each other. So the next two pages that I add, these two pages four and five are going to be next to each other. So they'll make a spread or they'll just be two separate designs, but side by side. And the same is gonna be true for the rest of the book. And then at the end of the book, you'll have one extra page that is going to be to the left of the spine because this is going to be basically the back of the page before it and it's going to end up being to the left of the spine and then to the right of the spine will be the inside of the back cover. So we're going to create a spread to go on pages four and five and there are a few different ways you can do this but I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to start. In order to create a design that spans across both of these pages, the way that I found to be the easiest, especially when you're first starting out with laying out books, is to design the spread as one design and then we'll just stick half of it on page four and the other half on page five. So I'm going to show you how I would do that. I'm going to go to the Canva homepage and I'm going to click create a design and I'm gonna click on custom size and I'm going to change the units to inches. And for the width, I want it to be exactly two times the width of the page because I'm gonna have it contain both page four and page five. So when I'm in my project for my children's book, if I go to file, I can just see what the width of a page is. And here we can see that the width of a page is 8.625. So I'm going to multiply that times two, and then that width is going to be 17.25. And then for the height, that's just going to be the same as the height of my pages. So again, I could just go to file and look at what I have here, and the height I have here is 8.75. So I'm going to put that here. And if you wanna know how I originally calculated the width and height of the page, then you can just go back and watch the first video of this series where I did all of the page setup and that'll explain all of that. So now I'm going to click create new design. This is exactly the width of two pages and I can go ahead and design my whole spread on here. So we can go ahead and add all of our guides. So we have that all set up. So I'm just going to go to file, settings, add guides, and I'll go to custom. I'll set columns to zero. And then for the margin, I'm gonna do 0.125 for both of these. And then I'll click add guides. So these are the guides for the bleed. So this is where the page is gonna get trimmed off. And if you wanna know why we design with bleed, then check out my video, what is bleed? And now we need to add our guides for the safe zone, which we can't do the same way that we did these guides because if we go to file, settings, add guides, then it's gonna clear out the ones we already have. So instead, we're going to use a rectangle. So I'm just gonna press the letter R on my keyboard to bring up a rectangle. And then I'm gonna go to position and I'm gonna lock the ratio. And for the width, I'm gonna enter 0 0.25 and press enter. 
Now I can just take this and I'm going to put it right against those bleed guides. You want it to snap to those guides. And then I'm just going to click on the ruler and drag so that I can pull out a guide and have it snap to the right side of that square. And then I'm going to click and drag a guide from the top ruler and let that snap to the bottom edge of the square. And now I'm just going to grab that square and bring it to the bottom right. And I'll let it snap. And then I'm just going to click and drag and pull it down to snap to the top and click and drag and pull it from the left and let it snap. Now I can go ahead and just delete that square. And these guides that we just set up for the safe zone, you want to make sure that all of your text stays within those guides. Lastly, I'm going to drag a guide out from the left and let it snap to the center of the page. You can see that it turns pink and it snaps to the center. And that is helpful because you want to be aware of where your center is when you're designing your spread. You don't want any text to go across the center. And you also have to be aware of which elements are close to that center guide because that's going to be the spine. And so the book is going to be folded there. For example, if you have someone's face going directly over the center, then it's going to look distorted when you open the book and those pages are at an angle as they go towards the spine. Now I'm going to drop in my artwork and if you're using Canva elements to create your scenes, you can go ahead and do all of that. But I have my artwork already made because I drew it by hand. So I'm going to go to uploads and I'll go to upload files. And I'll just grab that image and I'll click open. And then I'm going to click on it to drop it in. And then I'm just going to resize it. So it does drop it in small, but that's just Canva being weird. It doesn't actually mean that it's too small. So I'm just going to size this. And as you can see, I didn't size it perfectly when I made it, but that's okay. I'll just make it bigger so that it fills the spread. And now I can add in any text that I want. Or if you want to wait and add the text in on the actual page, you can do that too. It's really up to you. If you're first starting out, then it might be easier for you to design the text on this page. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to press the letter T on my keyboard to bring up some text. I'm just going to type whatever text I want. And if I want to make sure that it's centered on this page, then I can make a rectangle. So I'll press the letter R on my keyboard to bring up a rectangle. And then I'm just going to have it snap to that center guide. And then I'm going to pull the left edge so it snaps to that bleed guide. Since the bleed is going to get trimmed off. And then the center of this rectangle is going to be the center of the page. So I'm going to click on this ruler on the left here. And I'm going to let it snap to the center of my rectangle. And then I can move it over to the other side and do the same thing. Now, if there's anything we want centered on this page, we can just make sure the center snaps to that guide. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font here. And then I'm just going to make a copy of this text and I'll bring it over here and change it. And now that I have my spread designed, I can go ahead and export it. So I'm going to go to share, download, and I'm going to pick PNG so that there's no compression, but I'm also going to move the size up here. So I'm going to bring it up to like two. So unfortunately, when you're exporting from Canva, there's not an option to export at 300 DPI. So that's why we have to kind of mess around with the size here so that we know that it's at a high enough resolution where it's still going to look good. And then I'm just going to click download. Now I'm going to go back to my inside pages here. And remember, even pages are on the left and odd pages are on the right. So your spread is going to be an even numbered page for the first page of the spread. So we're going to start with page four. 
and I'm going to go to Uploads, Upload Files, and I'm going to pick that image that I just saved out, and I'll do Open. And now I can click on that to drop it in. And now this is very important that you need to size it to exactly the height of the page and let it snap. And then you're going to move it so that it snaps to the left side of the page. And then we're just going to copy this. So I'll do Command C on my keyboard or Control C on Windows. And I'll come down to the next page and I'm going to do paste. So Command V or Control V on Windows. And then I'm going to move this so that we're showing only the right side of the image. And I'm going to snap it to the right side of the page here. And you can also kind of do an eyeball check because when you click on the image, you'll see these little pill handles here. And those are going to be exactly at the center of the image. So if these little handles are exactly on the edge here, then it should be lined up correctly. So if I go to my second page, you can see that the little handles are on the left side of the page. If it was something like this and these little handles were not on the edge, then that means that it's not lined up properly. So you needed to snap to that right edge. And then another eyeball test you can do is you can click on the grid view so you can see all your pages and then you can kind of see what they look like side by side. It's not a great test of it because they're not touching so you might not really see the details perfectly. Now the best way to test is to test it in simple booklet. So you'll just go to share, see all, and then find a simple booklet flip. It's right here with a little orange icon. And you're going to click on that. And you can pick all pages and do save. And now I'm going to do view in simple booklet flip. If there's anything weird picked here, like mine says trifold, I'm going to click on page spread. And then these are going to be the book options. So I'm going to pick page curl. And now I'm going to click convert. So here is my first page, which is going to be by itself to the right of the spine. And then if I flip it, then I can see these two next to each other. And then here is the spread that I just showed you. So if you look at this, you can see that it lines up perfectly. And as long as you do this correctly, then your spread should line up perfectly. And then when all of your pages are done, you'll just export this to bring it into Ingram Spark. And I did go over how to export it for Ingram Spark in the first video of this series. So if you missed that, definitely go ahead and check it out because just exporting this as a PDF isn't actually going to work in Ingram Spark. There's a conversion that you have to do to your PDF file. So check out that video. That's all for this video. Stay tuned for the next video where I will show you how to create your cover for Ingram Spark in Canva. And if you're working on a children's book right now, join my creativity club on Facebook where we share our projects and support each other and help each other to reach our goals. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Or as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.